Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We're back in it again. Uh, I got to do two of these right. today, Let's as go. usual. Uh, I got plans later today, but I got to, you know, I got to get this done and out of the way. Um, you guys have no idea. Uh, I got I got some fun plans today. Gonna watch. Uh, Gonna take some edibles, gonna get some Mickey D's, and I'm gonna watch Falling Down. Have you guys ever seen Falling Down? If you have not seen Falling Down, you need to see Falling Down. It's one of the greatest Michael Douglas films ever made. Okay, first of all... You leave my fucking man alone, buddy. You leave Tim alone. Tim? Tim, it's alright, my guy. Come here. Come on, Tim. around Kobo, don't you? Uh, Falling Down is perhaps, like, to me, Falling Down is one of those films that when it came out, it's, like, very much a part of, it's very much fits into that, like, 90s couture of movies, uh, like American History X did, and stuff like that. It has, a, it, it's very much like a cultural, uh, related film that shines lights on certain prejudices and certain aspects of society Especially in the 90s. And uh, it's just a fucking great movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. I just bought it the other day. Uh, digitally, so. Moguden. Generally, though not always, a mogu will incapacitate its prey before dragging it back to its den, where they can be preserved and devoured in the mogu's, uh, at the mogu's leisure. The mogu of this cave is clearly hunted well. They're fucking wampas. They're just wampas. I know they're they're they there's different they're probably just named differently in different parts of the galaxy you know whatever I call them wampas what is this over here There's like a way up here, but, oh, that's how. I just realized it's on the ceiling. But yeah, uh, and I just received a gift from somebody that uh, I've been waiting for for the last couple weeks. Man, it's going to be a great day, I'll tell you what. Oh, speaking of wampas. All right, you mogu fuck. First of all, this is what I'm more prior right looking for here. Hey, come on, come get some. Yep, that's right. Oh, there went his arm. Why, why, why is that like the thing, right? Like every time we see like a wampa, like the association is to cut its arm off. You know, it's like Luke did it. Now everybody's doing it. Oh, anyway, I'm just, I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. Oh, Geonosian, uh. Whatever the fuck those are called. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Thanks for the help. He says as he fucking falls to his death. Alright, uh, where the fuck are we? Well, we're up above somewhere. Just kind of check around this area first. I want to just make sure. I just want to make sure that we, if we're, if there's any like treasures lying around, we find them. Ooh, what is? 
this. Well, it's the roof to a... It's a domed roof. To something. Echo. Well, this wasn't part of the deal, you know. We came to this rock together. We we're supposed to leave together. Oh, well, I ain't gonna forget you. You know that. And I ain't leaving. The ties that bind. Doma, uh, long-lived matriarch of the outpost, did not come to Koba alone. However, the planet's unforgiving nature did not spare the partner she traveled with. Now only the unassuming grave and Doma's memories are a testament to their existence. Okay. High Republic data desk. I bet Z would have some use for it. All right, so we're kind of... <laughs> yep. Uh... Fuck, is there any way to get out of here? I like that you... I do like that you, like, respawn right away. Even that's too far of a fucking drop. Oh boy. Okay, well that wasn't, so... Alright, well now maybe we can explore around through here a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's too far. Do the floor with you. Oh, down we go. Alignment control center. Ooh. All right, well, first of all, before we do this, let's go back up. Um, oh, we can climb down from there. I wanted to go out through this entrance just because it's like there. To like, all right, come out from here. This is that bridge from earlier. Oh yeah, we're having a little frame drop here. All right, uh, that's okay. Like I said, it's been running pretty well. It might just be that the game has some performance issues when it... Uh... I think maybe the game has some performance issues because it's starting... It's, I can tell it's like not running at 60 currently. I feel like maybe the game has performance issues when there's like a lot going on. So like when it's really busy... Um... When it's, like, really busy, uh, the game starts to kind of drop frames. Here we are. Harmony. That's over here. All right, now we can go down. Into here. 
Climate Control Center. Let's stop. Is there any other training? Like, is there more training that happens? I just want to check. Well, not currently. I really do wonder what that's for. Like, it's not like a training dojo where you can kill different enemies. It's just, like, training? Anyway. Let's go. Wonder what this is, buddy. Woo! Well, there's bound to be something down here. Whether or not we can actually access it, I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Good door. Uh, a door. Echo. Impressive. Ah. Uh, so this Dagen. is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps you will bring me some much needed luck. Patience. Dagon, Gera, and Centauri Cree discuss their plans for Tanalore. Dagon expresses frustration that such vital work is being delayed too much. What work? Like, what kind of work? What is he expecting them to build? Oh! Not bad for an abandoned facility. What am I supposed to be doing here? Is the object to try to like... Is the idea that I'm supposed to like align these? so confused I'm going to look up a guide for this Once again, it is something I can't actually do. That's so fucking weird. It, like... Listen, the one thing... Here's the thing. The one thing that I always... The, the one thing I feel like I always knock these games for, specifically Fallen Order, was that I, I really do hate all of the back-and-forth bullshit. I don't like... I'm not, like... I know that there are a lot of people who like Metroidvania type stuff, and I'm not saying this game's a Metroidvania. It's more... It is more like a Dark Souls light, where the combat is very much kind of like that, uh, especially on hard difficulties, and... You know, there's a lot of, like, kind of these areas that you can't access until later, or you're, you're going to come back to. But I just... The problem that I have with this is that I feel like, as a as a, somebody who likes to explore, I want to be able to explore an area to its fullest, and I can't do that when you're locking everything away from me. 
let them do their thing. Ah, uh, yes, I can't unlock this chest. That's okay, BD. We'll find another way. We right, got another echo here. The charge is set. Get back. What? Nothing? Uh, I thought you said this was good thermite. Breaking, not entering. A group of prospectors attempt to gain access to the sealed facility in the center of Rambler's Reach Valley. However, they are frustrated and humiliated by failure. This, I'm guessing, right? And then this leads down into here. It's gonna go back over through here, I guess. That's a thing I can't do yet. We got a, uh, a barrier. We can't. Couldn't even jump up there anyway. But yeah, I, you know, I know that some people are like, oh, I love having to come back. I'm not saying that I don't want to have to come back, but it just bothers me when I want to explore everything and I can't. Because they're, they're locking everything away from me. That's really my only complaint that I have. And I've ha I had that complaint about Force, uh, about, um, uh, Fallen Order. Some of them said Force Awakens. Oh, here we go. Here is some mines that are now dead. Ooh. I think I can lead this thing all the way over to that... that... Oh, God. I remember where it is. Only the one. Ah, oh, damn it! You fucking stupid droid fucks! Get over here, piece of fucking shit. Get the fuck away from me. God damn it. Is there any more in here somehow? Oh, I can spawn one. Okay. Over here, BD. Oh, he's caught. There we go. Excuse me, guys. I gotta lead this dude all the way back. Oh look! It's the creature from earlier! There he is. There he goes. Alright. Come on there, little one! This is absolutely the way that you do this. There is no other way to do this.
Oh, it might have been worth it, too. <laughs> what do we got in here? Big boy chest. Whoa, so we got Centauri Kree's lightsaber. Holy shit. The whole damn thing. So we can put that, we can use that as like one whole side if we wanted to. Shelter of Last Resort. As the sky rained fire from above, several stranded Jedi took refuge within one of their meditation chambers. Oh. So we got her whole lightsaber. The emitter, the hilt, um, and the pommel. That's fucking sick. That was absolutely fucking worth it. Dragging that son of a bitch all the way over? You get a whole lightsaber out of it? That's great. See, that's like, that's, that, see, that's when, when, when I take the, uh, oh, fuck all this, like, bullshit. Fuck all this explorer bullshit, uh, and it pays off. I hate you. Don't think we can slice that. Okay. I don't know if I already checked that one, but uh, let's go over here. We got to get that sense echo still. Got a skill point. Did you do that? Wait, what? No! Technological betrayal. Betrayal. The prospectors grown used to the aid of their roller mines were surprised and horrified when one day they suddenly turned against them with catastrophic results. Skynet is real. They rose up. All right, we have this that we can't get into currently. And there's some like some of those gross round enemies yeah like uh when the, the exploration pays off like that i kind of go you know i was like that was worth it in the long run but at the same time i just want to be able to like explore everything and kind of like do it all in one go you know that's just kind of how i feel come on echo tim his name's tim all right, well, uh, we're going to go down here, me and Tim. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> BD also says thank you. Don't kill me. Oh, yeah, Turgle. I just saved your fool leg. Who are you anyway? I'm Turgle. Well, if you won't keep breathing, you best follow me. This is Raider territory. Noma's first encounter with Turgle was one of rescue, saving him from self-inflicted blunder. He was attached to her from that point on. Yo, Turgle is the true. Oh, right. Some new characters. Up, Wheel turns. Although Mosey is known as a hunter, she is not without a respect and understanding for the equilibrium of, of the planet and the natural order of things. Let's go, BD. Okay, so I can't get over here yet because I need to be able to get rid of that um, hardened spore with dust. Oh, 
I'm coming. Does this do? Excuse me! Would you be so kind as to dispatch this beast? We will make it worth your while. Sure. Oh my god. Look at look at these two. There you go. Oh my god, look at these two. Well done. Oh my job. god. Oh my warrior friend. I haven't seen such fighting since the championship. Bro, what did they come up with? What the bullshit they come up with in this in Star Wars, dude? Just the look of some of these aliens is so hilarious. Look at these two. It's like <laughs> it's just a just a neck with some it's like a stick head. That's rude of me. Anyway, what are you doing out here? We were out looking for the biggest, strongest beast to fight each other. Winner take all. Within our hollow tactics game table, of course. Hollow tactics, huh? That's right. And you have just helped us gather beastly data for our game. Just as soon as we find a place to set up shop, of course. My friend might be interested. He runs Pylon Saloon. Ah, uh, yes. The saloon at Rambler's Reach. She's so calm. I didn't realize it was open. Well, tell you what. We're more than happy to bring holler tactics to Pylons. Good liven up the place. Let us make haste, Tully Moon. Play a holler tactics awesome. game. Tuli runs her own holo tactics game with the help of her uh, diminutive employee, Bima, who possesses an outsized personality and gift for Gab. Things in their own time. Bima. See you around. I, I dig it. I dig them. They're, they look hilarious, but I dig them. For sure. Oh, so... What are those actually going to be used for? She can't stand on them. I guess you would, like, put it out here? Can you stand on these? Let me just try to find out. No. No, you cannot. Yeah, yeah, I, I figure you need, like, a tool for this, so... And it'll lead you up there. All right, Tim. Let's go. Let's go. Remember, every Neko is named Tim. All of them. They're all Tim. They're the they're the race of Tims. Listen, I just talked to a walking eye stock and a small blue man, so I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna name them whatever I please. All right, and Tim is a good name for these guys. Fuck it. Okay. We have a small little outcrop here. Thanks for the assist. Hang out there, Tim. We'll be back. Alright, what do we have in here? Meditation point? By the way, uh, it's if you okay. don't know this, I'm ready. and a lot of people don't, but these meditation points are crucial to you sitting at them because they become fast travel points. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that that's how the fast travel works. 
So a lot of people think, oh, well, I don't need to meditate. Like, I don't I don't need to regen my health or meditate. But you have to understand that you, you're using these as fast travel points. See? So when you... When you... Uh, sit down at them, they become a fast travel point. So you need them in order to travel around a lot faster. Especially if you're, you know... Trying to make it to a certain area. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it here. There is a treasure down. Check it out, oh, baby. Yeah. Pirate? Nice. Uh, yeah, there's like no run here. Oh, what do you got? You know, just where to look. Ecological study. A data pad from a curious Kobo local. Uh, studying the interior of this cave. I cannot progress further without specialized equipment. I should turn back, but the sounds from within draw me further. What manner of cave is home to such myriad noises? My curiosity cannot be so easily satisfied. Ooh. So I'm assuming we're probably... Remember that thing I mentioned earlier that uh, get past the fan? Probably the same skill for this. Hey, Tim. I'm back. Anyway, do you want to help me get up to this? Come on. Oh, we got ourselves another... Uh... I don't want to call them Jedi Temple, but, uh, you know, like the, uh, the trial things. Welcome, Jedi. The Force teaches us that what our Chamber of Clarity. Our yeah, Jedi Chamber. Always the truth of the world. The world bends to the will of the Force. As such, it may also bend to you. Let's we'll check something. That's what I thought. I had a feeling there was something back here. Echo. I'll do this course as many times as it takes. Tenacity. To fail at the trials presented on Kobo was not an option for the Jedi, who were determined to persist until they at last found success. Oh, I understand. The idea is that you're going to have to pull out the, uh, you're going to have to pull them out as you're going. We good. Ooh, oh, unique non-metal. Those look fire. Okay. Uh, so we got to pull this cube out. Oh, is the idea that we have to...
Yep. Very cool. Jesus. Um. I have an echo here, anyway. Careful. I haven't trained like this since I was a Padawan. The task within the Jedi Chambers presented trying, painful challenges, the likes of which many Jedi hadn't experienced since their struggles as learners. Okay, I see here. I feel like I have to... I'm exhausted. Keep going. We'll be over soon. We can hope. The Jedi trials in Kobo were tests of body and mind, but also of trust and camaraderie between both friends and comrades. So that's how it's going to lead us back over across there, I see. But there's also this over here, which I saw. Grab that. A little more. Oh, you must be strong for the task ahead. Concerted effort. The trials of Kobo were testing enough, but whatever mission the Jedi were preparing for were, was almost certainly greater. No Jedi, therefore, would be allowed to fall behind. Can you fall down here? No. Okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. I was like, you can't fall down here, right? Let's see, where does this lead? Oh wait, I, oh, I was on the other side. I was like, where the hell? And then yeah, it leads to the other side of the store. Oh, which is just an opening, okay. All right, so we need to move this back over. We move, need to move that back there. Okay, there we are. And forward. And that's that. I am the puzzle god. Not really. Not like No, don't count on me for that one. Yo, fellowship, what is this? Lord of the Okay, let's go. That's it, right? That means we're done? Yeah, 100% Oh, uh, well. There's a treasure somewhere. I mean, it could be anywhere, to be honest. I'm not too concerned about it. It's just that the treasure is really just like a, the currency, you know? So I'm fine with passing it up in all honesty. 
I'm, I'm never going to get all, you know, 150 million, you know, uh, pi uh, priorite shards and, and all 20,000 data disks. So, you know, fuck me, but I'm, I don't really give a shit all that much. Flying me over here. So I see the I saw this here. We have a uh, an echo here. Quit your belly aching, Leo. Let me see. Oh, it's Mosey again. Shoot. That ain't gonna heal. Sorry, hun. Not your day. Way of the world, Leo. Rather you in the ground peaceful than someone's dinner. Rather in the ground peaceful. Small mercy. Mosey and her faithful Neko, Leo. Oh, it was an Echo. Get into a scrape from uh, from which one of them cannot recover. Mosey does what needs to be done with a solemn understanding and as much compassion as she can muster. Who's streaming? Alright. Uh, so yeah, we have... That's done... There's a cave down here as well. Let's in. Later. Later. I always love this battle droid, like, stormtrooper helmet, like, thing that they've hung up here. Alright, so we got two ways in, really. This way. Oh my god! There's a troop transporter! Well, here's your chance. I heard that. Intruder. Uh oh, troop transport's opening. Here you go, fuck you. Here you go, fuck you. Yeah. Can we drop some more? What now? They got a whole ass troop transport just parked back here. This is sick, dude. This is so sick. Get off me! Woo! There we go. That's all some right, people scan. Right. Let's look. Raider, Raider veteran. Nice. I still can't believe they got a whole troop transport back here. That's what's blowing my mind. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge uh, Episode 1 fan. Um, which is kind of one of the reasons when I saw that they had battle droids in this game. Oh, bomber shirt. Go to the bomber jacket. Uh, I was like, hell yeah, we're going to get some, like, some older, like separatist stuff and uh yeah that's uh what what the 
thought he was going to try to scan something. Oh, there is a scan. The extra hybrid. Oh, one that has a blaster and a sword. So yeah, uh... I, uh, seeing this is, is really cool just because I'm such an episode one fan and I'm a huge, like, I'm a, I'm a Darth Maul fan and a Qui-Gon fan. I have a lot of, like, episode one merch specifically just because it's, you know, when I was, when I was a kid, that was what I, uh, that was the first Star Wars film that I saw in theaters. You know, I, I was a, when I was a kid, I, uh, when I was really young, when I was like, I think it was like probably four or five is when I first saw Star Wars um, episode four through six and seeing the original trilogy was so, you know, it was amazing to me because it kind of like was what grew my, my love of space and of like, it's kind of one of the reasons why I'm like a fan of mass effect and I'm still such a huge fan of Star Wars. Nope. Uh, but Episode one is what I saw in theaters, and it was so epic to me because even though there was a lot of things people hated about episode one, uh, to me it's a it's a movie that represents a huge part of my childhood. I love pod racing. I was a, I, I love the pod racing game. I'm, I did a uh, I did a, um, a once upon a stream for. Uh, Star Wars Racer and I still just to this day love episode 1 stuff so I'm um, every time I see things from episode 1 be it like vehicles nice or weapons or characters uh, it's just it brings out something from my childhood the nostalgia comes out and so um, yeah that's really the reason why the evidence suggests that Fort, uh, Fort Kalin was once a hub of activity for a local bandit gang Although now it is still occupied by Bedlam Raider soldiers and battle droids, these abandoned items speak to a more active base made sparse by some past incident. Okay. Scroll. This whole thing here, but how do we get to that? Okay, meditation, exit. All set. This was the front entrance. Initiating combat. You're not initiating shit. Cause I have a uh, I have a Darth Maul saber. Like a um not like a cheap toy one, like I have a an expensive <laughs> replica. Good job. Um and I have a Qui-Gon saber as well. Um, that I bought from Shop Disney back when it came out. Before the Bedlam Raiders came to prominence, Kobo's locals were bothered by various bandit groups. Though not as unified and organized as Ravis's army to be, uh, it was the, yeah, the asshole brigade. It was nevertheless advisable to stay away from their territory. Listen, I could remember what the name of the bandits or bandit group is called, or I could just call them the asshole brigade. Which is... Hello? Who's Roger Rogering so much? Alright, we got an echo. We seek strength. Ooh, a, uh, a blaster you. rifle. You are wise long, to kneel. A long Tell your range one. I have no place for them. They opposed me. Now only death remains. Victorious surrender. In the aftermath of a small but brutal civil war that tore the settlement apart, the bandit leader pledged themselves to Ravis and become part of his newly formed Bedlam Raiders. Uh, those who would not kneel, however, were exiled. Uh, you gotta be an asshole, too. Roger, roger that, bitch. Talk to the other side. Would you guys just give up? They're like, you know, they're like, nah, you know what? 
Like, nah, I don't, I, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, well, this leads back down. I still... Still kind of investigating this. Examine. What was it? Examine. Just examine. Where the hell did it go? Examine? Examine? Okay, well. Still kind of investigating this whole base. I don't know if I came over here. Okay, so it's obviously if we get up top, there's obviously a way through there. We got up top here, so. Can't get through that door though, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to go kind of through, uh, through and around. It was a trap! It was a trap! Oh. Spawn of Ogdo? Slow time, there we go. Oh god! I thought it was like an insta-kill. Can I fucking heal? There we go. I gotta block more. Ooh. What was begun in Bagano has now spread beyond its bounds, seemingly unstoppable. Is this Ogdo, the, uh, the spawn of the legendary Bogdo, uh, bent sing uh, singularly on revenge for its fallen progenitor? It is impossible to say, but what is certain is this fearsome beast is as powerful as, it's, uh, as it is long-tongued. Yeah, remember that, son of a bitch? Well, there's that. Uh... Judging me. Hello? What? More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shot. It's judging me. Oh, we got a, another. Uh, I'm gonna call these legendary chests. What do we got? Poncho! <laughs> there it is! Yes, sir! The poncho has returned! Yes! From the dead, it returns! Where the fuck is it? Which one was the, uh... Hold on. Try to remember which, uh... Oh, so there's scra oh, so you can't wear because you like had the scrapper, but then you wore the okay. So you can't wear the scrapper. 
All right. We are ponchoing it up. Which poncho? Probably the yellow one, to be honest. Well, I like that one too. White and blue. Yeah, we're doing we're doing the yellow. Yes, a presence I'm not. Oh, see, there it is. A, there it is. Trophy for it. Yep, a presence I have not felt since. All right, what? Sh no, I'm not going sleeveless. Uh, let's see. What shirt do we want with this? The Outrider looks pretty good. Frontier, Scrapper, Bomber, Tactical. Yeah, let's do the Tactical with the yellow gloves and the pants. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the Tactical on those as well. well Let's do those. Let's do that. I kind of want the old hair back, too. I, I like the scrapper hair, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to keep them clean. Yes, sir! The poncho has fucking returned. I wonder if they have other if they have uh, other ponchos if they have like some of the cloth ones back or if it's uh, if it's just this as like a little hurrah. This is like and see, and it's the best part of it is is that everybody complained incessantly about oh all their customization is different ponchos, and they've put this in as like a either you love it or you hate it and. It's gonna make you either be pissed off, because you're like, "Oh, those fuckers," or you're gonna, or you're gonna be like me, and you're gonna appreciate it because you actually liked it the first time. So, I dig the shit out of that. And there's a trophy tied to it too. That's the best. All right, what do we have over here? Just call me the Poncho, brother. The Poncho Avenger! Fuck you. And see, the only other problem that I, I seemingly have is that sometimes treasures are, like, hidden in the grass. And I have not that great eyesight sometimes so it's hard for me to see sparkles in the grass i have like color blindness and it's i have like i have pretty bad eyesight sometimes so i mean a lot of times i'll see it but you know it's hidden really well see like i never see these guys i never see them was there any fucking point to coming down here I mean, there's something underneath us. <laughs> that guy's all buggy. There's, there's like this, this thing underneath us, but we can't really, we can't actually get to it. See what I mean? It's like down underneath the cliff. I'm assuming we would have to either glide down to it or something. There's like there is that area down there with a the glider, so maybe.
Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of yeah. Let's kind of discover. Well, what's this? Oh, it's a shortcut. It's up there, though. This is the way that I was going down. Okay, what do we have down here? DDEC? Hey, little guy. Oh, I can tame this guy. Guess we're friends now, huh? Bye. Hi. Hello. Here for the soundscape too? No. Ash Javi? Passing through. You're hunting for sounds? That's right, man. Didi's been all over these glider calls. Sounding great. You know, Hyloon Saloon down in the outpost is starving for some live entertainment. Hmm. Might not be a bad call. Didi swore one of those beasts gave him some side eye. Yeah, we're in. We'll catch you back at the outpost. See you there. I dig that. Ash Javi, a DJ who's played some of the biggest venues on Coruscant. Uh, Ash has chosen Kobo for a much-needed break and to sample the unique sounds of the backwater planet. And then DDEC. Ash's, uh, Ash's collaborator, DDEC, fills the cantina with the best music the galaxy has to offer. Hell yeah. Recruited. Nice. All right. There we go. What do we got in here? I could never imagine trying to squeeze through all these. Oh, we're going down. The moldy depths! Moldy they are. Forgetting I have this like stab move. Huh. I wonder where I'm gonna put that. Doesn't look like I can go there, so. Is 
Save my boy here! Tim! Tim, my boy. You're safe now. Ready to ride. Come on, Tim. Oh. Give me a moment there, Tim. Public data desk. I bet Z would have some use for it. Oh. I see. Come on. So the only way out, right, is to get You think I can like lead him over to there and he'll he'll come through if I lift it up? Maybe that's the secret. Alright, buddy. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lead you right here. You're gonna hang out. Don't go nowhere. And I am gonna come back over here and open the door for you. There we go. Good boy. Let's Good ride. Tim. Oh, but how do we... How do we get out of here? Oh, there's another... Oh, it's this. It must be the way out. Hey, buddy. Hi. Poor Tim, I gotta leave him down here. Oh, here we are. And there's the shortcut. Hi. A nice hello. Alright, so yeah, that leads all the way back around there. Roger, Roger. Okay, there's also that up there, which I can't use um. what we got over this way there's like a cave So we're at this cave here. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Another bile gut. here prospectors didn't stand a chance the bio maw can be a vicious creature but mostly in defense of its territory they find shelter from the elements but only build nests in order to give birth and rear their young any interloper who would intrude on that space is therefore a fair game
Let's Hello, buddy. Goodbye, Since I go up here. All a big misunderstanding. Oh, oh God. No. You gotta let me go. Oh yeah. Why should we? Uh, I can be of use to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Whatever you want. I'm your frog. Oh, we'll see. Boss is looking for something. Find it, or we'll find you. Turgal makes a deal. Turgal, having crossed the ruthless Bedlam Raiders, attempts to take shelter in a nearby cave. Uh, failing to shake his pursuers, however, he begs for his life, making a dark bargain he will come later come to regret. Oh, so is there like a, is there a way, is there a way up on the ceiling through here? There is. Because I knew there was something up here. Uh, hi. That's quite an arsenal you've got there. Arsenal? What? Why do you ask this of Gara? Business is none of yours. What did I ask shit from you, Gara? Trouble. What do you plan to do with all this? I presented gift to Raiders. Please don't. Tribute, yes? No. Tribute? You mean you want to join the Raiders? Join the Raiders, yes. No more prospecting. No longer other saying weak of Gara. Much glory and blood of Ravis. The Raiders are dangerous and not known to strike deals. Danger, eh? Gara gorge self on danger. Gara live for thrill or kill. But you will not kill her like the. You do not want to join the Raiders. <laughs> Gara doesn't want to join the Raiders. The Raiders are unreliable. It's too dangerous to bargain with them. Yes. Raiders are not to be trusted. Too dangerous for Gara. Yeah. No, no. Deal is off. Too risky. Contraband. Here. You take. Gara no wants. Alright then. We're gonna use a mind we're gonna use a mind trick on her. That's kinda fucked up. <laughs> Mountaineer. Alright. Are you just gonna leave all this here? You take contraband. Gara gets rid of risks. Too risky for keeps. Why don't you just go to the tavern? The saloon? Just go meet my buddy. Get all you people off of the out of the wild and into a civilized society where you can all help each other and do all this like good stuff for each other. Like, goddamn. Alright. Going the wrong way. Yeah, you know, we were doing good on the performance for a while, but now I think we're kind of back to the shit, to be honest. It's kind of still... It's like flect, uh, fluctuating here and there. I think that the performance hasn't really been improved all that much. What are we doing again? Patrolling. Oh. They're probably fine? Wait. Drop your mountain to the great unknown. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What happened to Tim? What the fuck? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Oh, I can, uh, I can make him my friend now. What the fuck do you mean? Alright, well, let's head back. 
Um, we have this, uh, we have this, like, side quest to do. Hello there. Holo ta hollow tactic scans. Found by scanning enemies using BD. Tina Garden, we got some rumors as well. Twenty cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. Uh, hello. Hello, people of the town. Still can't do whatever that is. Hey, you. Yeah. You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us. Well, that's on you. I'm doing what I can to help. Uh, hello, again. Hey, fellas. How long you been together? Too, Too long. long. <laughs> one of the first people here, and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. <laughs> I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. I don't know what a gastrodermis is, the most but... pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I <laughs> the Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's, and we've been stuck together ever since, because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. <laughs> a smile on my face. We're together because one guy is a fucking idiot. Uh, Gulu and Guido. Gulu, a cantankerous old timer, and his lifelong partner Guido, a cantankerous old timer, spend all day every day lounging around in front of the local saloon. They roast, joke about, and tease everyone and everything that dares cross into their field of view. It's fun. Alright, uh... Now, before we use the workbench... Oh, God. He's judging me. Sense of foul presence. No. It couldn't be. Oh, stay calm. What? One of these, like, flash, whatever the. I don't even know what, what these are called. Oh no, you're fucking shitting me. Defeat the horrors of Bagano. So we got the spawn of Ogdo, and then we got Ogdo Bogdo. Oh, this is...
All right, Ogdo, I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> Defeat them both at once. That's pretty funny. They're like, you killed the son, now face the father and the son at the same time. Yeah, I remember when we first played that, we couldn't, right, uh... That did it. Oh god, we couldn't uh, kill Ogdo because he was too goddamn strong. See anything you like? God, this the 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 hair, dude. See, look at that. The, the handlebar name. mustache. Uh, I'll take the Corsair. Can't go wrong with this. Greasy money. Uh, and let's do... It looks like Jimmy from like Bully. Uh, let's do that. You know a good deal when you see it. And I'll do I'll do a uh I'll do a, I'll do a music track as well. You don't have the prior right. I know. I know I don't. Let's try some other components. All right, let's use the workbench and let's see. So, uh, lightsaber, um, diligence. Oh, diligence actually looks pretty good. Centauri Cree. Diligence. Ooh, I like. I like that. Diligence wrap is actually pretty cool, too. Let's see. Diligence. Harmony. Diligence one. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, materials. Yeah, we got these unique non metals. Wow, this is pretty, this is pretty sick. So, pearl. Bone, joined white gold, joined black silver, and blue copper. So, how about for the primary we do this black silver? Secondary. Do the bone. Well, I kind of like the uh, the white gold. I like the pearl as well. Let's do the pearl for that accent. Let's do the bone accents, right? Grip. Uh, 
Um, real wood. Let's do the black rubber on that. Yeah, let's do that. And then for the blade. Let's do... Should we do yellow? Yeah, let's do yellow. For BD, let's see. Um, rugged. Scrapyard was this. Assembly. No, I still like the BD Astro. Head. Swooper. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Genosian. I actually like the I actually like the swooper one. Audio sensors. Nah, I like the rugged ones. Body. Rugged. Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll keep those as well. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Coruscant paint. I wanted to do that per that coral. Let's do the coral for the main body. Let's do. Let's see. I think the secondary. Uh, uh, let's see. Blue gray. Yeah, let's do the the cornflower blue. That goes good with the coral. It's like a light color. The white does actually look nice. Maybe if I did the blue for this. Yeah, let's do the blue for that. Change the secondary to white, maybe? Let's do that, and then yeah. You're all set, BD. Killer. All right, let's, uh, should we check on the garden real quick before we head up here? Guy. There it is. Say so there's a there's a way up somewhere. Hey, look at all our plants. I've seen worse rooftop gardens. Now where should this go? Sow some new seeds. So we've uh, we've collected all these. We got us a bunch of seeds. So 
So we got Bluebell Squish in two colors. Let's do Dathomir in red, shall we? Here looks good. I think if you like grow colors next to each other, they'll make new colors? I don't know. I think they'll like it there, buddy. Tuber Maw. There we go. Oops. We'll grow safe here. Then we have the pine fern. This seems like a good place for it. Okay, seeds. I'll just uh some striking variants here. No oh, plants. So does it like uh does it matter what really what we grow? Here, BD. There we go. We'll just fill that up. Cool. Alright, so when we head back up through here, we had a... Uh... So where we're supposed to be headed. And there was this here. this is where we're going to uh i think we're going to leave it um and then when we come back next time uh we'll uh we'll continue forward so take care everybody and i'll see you all on the next one goodbye